Over the course of their four years at BSU, the senior football class has changed the culture and face of the program. Many wins and even a bowl game victory a season ago. Their last time taking the turf at the Chet Saturday afternoon against rival St. Cloud State. Both teams 6-3 and three coming in. Beavers with some early turnovers. Huskies take advantage. Dwayne Lawhorn with the keeper here. He gets in. They're up 7-0, but BSU answers in the second. Jordan Hine, Jacob Anderson, 19 yards for the score. We're all tied at 7. Beavers were down 3 at the break, but the defense stingy the rest of the way. EJ Olszewski says, I'll take that. His fifth pick of the season, the gang green deep in Husky territory. Isaac Andrew ties it at 10 with the field goal. Beavers take the first lead of the game in the fourth. Andrew Lakowski from seven yards out to go up a score. Last chance for St. Cloud, but the BSU defense stands tall. Tristan Ross, the pride of Little Falls, jumps in front for the interception. Their third takeaway of the game to seal the victory, 17-10. Coach Bolte, how is that for a home finale win? Goes back to the seniors. I'm so happy for them and their families, and not to mention it was over St. Cloud. I mean, this is a team that we beat now five out of the last seven, I think, when they came in the league. You know, we are viewed a, a step down from them, and, and it's something that's important to me to be able to beat them. We recruit against them all the time. they got a great staff. they got good kids. So it's a big win for that, and just proud of our players. When one end isn't doing so well, we pick each other up, and we just kind of draw a line in the sand and hang in there and give the offense a chance. You know, they struggled a little bit, but, you know, they really turned it around there after halftime, and it was, just, it was just a great team win. Special. I mean, we got 22, 23 seniors, and, I mean, I love these guys. You know, we came in to a program that was in the bottom of the ranks and coming out, and now we kind of got a name for Bemidji putting them on the map. So, you know, it was a special last game at the Chet, so I'm excited what the future holds for these guys. So Beavers scored 10 unanswered in the fourth to win by seven. They now improved to seven and three on the season. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.